Leo Cockroach, Toy Tester, written and illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. Published by Walker and Company. This is Leo, Leo Cockroach. The lady with the shoe is Mildred Splat, president and CEO of What a Toy Toys. Leo lives in Ms. Splat's desk, and though she doesn't know it, Leo works at the company, too. I've got you now, you horrible little bug. Leo is a toy tester. He works at night, and he is good at his job. Testing toys is hard work, and it can be downright dangerous for a cockroach. Whee! Wow. Fire! Ouch! Yikes! When Leo finds a winner, he takes it back to Ms. Splat's office with the help of his only real friend, a cat named Bernard. It hadn't taken long for Mildred Splat to realize that these little gems would fly off the shelves of the toy store, and she had come to rely on these nocturnal surprises to keep her company in business. Leo didn't mind so much that Mildred took all the credit. He enjoyed his work. The problem was that Ms. Mildred Splat hated cockroaches. She thought Leo was a disgusting little pest. Every time she spotted him, Mildred tried to squash him. Bernard, Leo panted. That lady really bugs me. Bernard just sighed. Cockroaches might be spineless, but tonight I'm getting a backbone. I'm going to fly that plane right over there to the toy company across the street. Let's see... Who brings Mildred toys then? That night, the two friends hugged each other before Leo scurried aboard the plane. So long, mon ami. What's with that fake mustache? Bernard, my good friend, look for me across the street. Life is bound to be better there. You could try writing Miss Splat a letter, said Bernard. Too late for that yelled Leo as the plane flew out the window. At first, Leo's flying abilities left something to be desired. But after a few minor corrections, he was flying like fly. Soon, he would be landing in the office of Mr. Magnus Worm, president and CEO of Not So Good Toys. Landing might be too soft a word. Crashing is more like it. When he came to, Leo found himself in a furnished cage, front and center on the desk of the boss himself. Well, 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 thought Leo. This isn't half bad. Mr. Worm seemed a pleasant enough fellow when he strode through the door. After introducing himself, Leo described how he had gotten to Mr. Worm's office. Now, said Leo, If you will open the door to my beautiful new home, I will begin testing your fine toys. I think it would be better if we brought the toys to you, Magnus Worm replied. How marvelous, thought Leo. Finally, I'm getting the respect I deserve. Let's get to work. Toys of all shapes and sizes were brought to him. And on every occasion, Leo was forced to tell Mr. Worm that his toys were junk. Not just unpleasant to play with, but unsafe as well. Mr. Magnus Worm was earwinging out. The pointy stick, $25. Ride a rock, giddy up. Stringless yo yo, fun. Bernard, Bernard, what have I done? Leo started to think that maybe he'd made a mistake. He really missed Bernard, and he wasn't even allowed out of his cage anymore. All he could do was look out through the bars and rate the new toys. Thumbs up for good, thumbs down for bad. Unfortunately, Leo could never give anything a thumbs up. You're really beginning to bug me. Mr. Magnus Worm was as angry as a swarm of bees. Things were looking bad for Leo, worse in a way than when he worked for Mildred Splat. Leo thought, if I could just get out of this cage, 
I'd head back across the street. Better to run from a shoe than to live like a slave. As luck would have it, Mr. Worm placed a rocket on his desk for Leo's judgment. It was poorly made and badly painted, but it was Leo's only chance. Winging it, Leo made up a story about having to test fly the rocket before he could rate it. Surprisingly, Magnus Worm agreed. Here goes nothing. Ten. Nine. Eight. At first, the rocket dipped, swooped, and flew upside down. Finally, Leo managed to point it in the direction of the window. Ramming the throttle forward, the rocket raced through the window and into the blue sky. Halfway across the street, the engine stopped. Leo thought he was headed for the big roach motel in the sky. Pointing the nose of the rocket toward Mildred's window, Leo crossed all his legs and said a prayer. When he opened his eyes, the first thing he saw was his friend Bernard. Such joy, such happiness. Leo told Bernard all about his life at Not So Good at Toys. And Bernard told Leo about how Mildred Splat hadn't had a hit toy since Leo had left. She was bugging out. Well then, said Leo, I had best get my legs in gear. But I'm telling you right now, my good cat, it's not going to be like it was before. No more trying to stomp me or poison me or anything. I'm taking your advice. I'm going to write Mildred a letter. Miss Splat, my name is Leo. I am the cockroach you were trying to squash. I am also the fellow who was putting the really good toys on your desk. I have been away, but now I'm back. I understand that business has not been so good since I left. If you stop trying to step on me, I will do my best to help you. I know you like your job as much as I like mine. So enough with the shoe already. Sort of fondly, Leo Cockroach. Employee of the Month, I mean Year Award, Leo Cockroach Toy Tester. And things worked out for Leo even better than expected. The End We hope that you enjoyed this reading of Leo Cockroach toy tester. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.